So before every subscription concert of the symphony, I provide what we call the Musically Speaking Lecture. It's a one-hour conversation about the symphony series that's coming up that weekend. And it's an opportunity for me to get into the history and the details and the context of the music that we're playing so that when our audiences come to the concert hall, they have a better understanding of the time and place, the composer's background and personality, and the connections between the different pieces of music. Each program, for me, is a kind of um, grouping, you know, of a certain number of pieces that all have at least something to do with each other and can sort of highlight each other in different ways. So I try to flesh that out, talk about the different themes for the different concerts and how the audience can listen to the music and start to put the pieces together, uh, literally and also sort of historically. I love that. I actually think that our conversations about music are in some ways part of the experience for the symphony. I think that the more audiences have in their mind about the music, the more they can appreciate it. And so with that same logic, we also provide a, a shorter lecture, just a half hour lecture, that starts one hour before the concert, right in the concert hall itself, so that when folks arrive at the hall, they can start to, again, get back into the history, get back into the philosophy of the composers and their worldviews and psychologies and neuroses and all the rest, and get really into the mindset of the concert.